Hello guys. So I have received my game pad uh, uh, that is Gamesar Z1 gaming keypad today and I thought to make a unboxing video for the first time of uh, you know of, among my videos. So here you can see this is the Gamesar Z1 gaming keypad box and it took about you know um 18 15 almost 15 days from china and i have ordered it uh, uh from um you know one of the uh, online website i'll give you the links in the description if you want uh let's just cut it out and there we go uh, let's open it so uh, it's quite cool you can see you know uh, the box itself the packaging itself is really cool let's open it oh that is amazing so uh, you can see the games are keypad let me just open the plastic cover so Okay, that's really cool. Okay, so we have got a manual and a Type C cable as well. Uh, here's the space button, like for jumping, and uh, the WASD buttons are quite textured, so it will be easier for us to you know uh, move along in the game. And these are the buttons which we can configure later. Uh, in the game and it's not quite heavy but uh, yeah it's really cool so this is a bluetooth uh, this has a bluetooth connectivity so this is type C cable in good quality you can see it's really good uh, let me open it okay so here is, we've got a USB uh, connection as well so which we can connect the mouse to move the camera angle and um, okay so we've got on off button the connection buttons and the you know our mobile or PC switch on the side of it you can see here mm, that's cool let's just turn it on whoa look at the you know LEDs hmm uh, I think we can configure the lights as well. Let me just try the function button or which one? Um, it's quite cool though. Look at the lights. Wow, amazing. Mm, function. Okay, okay. So this is the function button where we can change the you know uh, light variations. So uh, okay. Right, that's good. And this is for jump mm, function. We can uh, change lights. Mm, that's cool. That's cool. So, uh, let me let me uh, turn. Um, let's just go to our mobile phone now and we'll see how this works okay um, so you have to download a game sir world app to make this uh, gamepad working and we have to go to game speed on the bottom and you have to add your game if it is already installed and the gamepad you can see is already connected so we'll just uh, click on PUBG Mobile and direct play G engine now okay you can see the you know, uh, keys and all on the uh, top left you can also see a game you know uh, what we call it uh, logo uh, that is one of the option uh, you know you can change the key mapping on the real time mm, let me move my mouse let's just see okay it's working wow the sensitivity is really good i mean uh, the time it's taking 
it's not a lot i mean uh, it's really fast and you can see on the uh, left we have import config options as well and settings so uh, if you click on import config you will see you know different options like user configs and official configs so official configs are something that is uh, you know uh, from gamester uh, predefined uh, key mappings so we'll just use the official one at the moment and you know user configs are something people can upload their configs as well now just go to the training room okay Mm -hmm. Come on. All right. Okay, so the moment is not that much delaying, but it's quite good. Yeah, so I liked it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's just pick one of our ER. ER. Okay. So it'll take, uh, you know, uh, I'd have to use, get used to it for a quick gameplay. Uh, so another thing is, you know, the, this uh, gameplay video might be a bit laggy or um, you know, uh, blurish because I'm using uh, my mobile phone to mirror on my computer and then I'm recording it through Streamlabs so okay the jump button works fully really fine uh, movement is also good okay all right okay let's just try something here Mm, let's pick up 3x. So this is how you can configure your, um, you know, uh, yeah, I can move the buttons wherever I want it to be placed. Okay, it's done. Let's just okay. So it's, it's a bit laggish. I don't know. It is due to some because in the normal time it worked really fine for me, but it might be due to the screen mirroring. Okay, it's really good. So it's better than you know playing on your uh, on screen. on your touch screen everything else seems to be perfect for me so once I get used to it I can really you know I can play really good on my mobile phone using this gamepad even the tab button is also working along with the cursor This is good. Mm. Okay, so lean are not enabled. I just need to turn on the enable the lean. Mm, yeah, cool. So let me lean. Okay. All right, it's working fine. So uh, the thing is, you know, all I need to do uh, is play with it for longer to get used to it. Hmm. All right, guys. So uh, that is all 